Hey YouTube, how are we going? Just thought I'd uh, do a quick video today just to show you what I've been up to with my system. I've been pretty busy with work so I haven't uh, been able to do a real lot. Um, but yeah, I'll just run you through what's going on here. Alrighty. What you doing, dude? So from the previous videos, uh, I showed that I had two, two of the, I've got 890 watt panels, I've got two up there on the shed and another four up on the house roof there. I think I'm going to take all the panels off the house, take these four down and all the, ra the rails and stuff and I'm going to put maybe six six panels up on the shed here so I'll um, put rails right across this side of the shed roof and put six or maybe the whole eight panels up there I'm not sure yet so that'll be because I do only get about three or four hours of sun we're in, in the sun at the moment, so between the trees here, I'm not sure if you can see that, the sun comes out here and tracks across this section and goes in sort of over where it's about to now. That's, that gives me about four hours of sunlight, so if I've got the six or eight panels up there, that should be pretty good. Um, in summer the sun's a bit higher and I get more sun over the back as it heads across over there. Okay, so, excuse the mess in here, I've just been processing heaps of power tool batteries, a few there. Um, yeah, so what's going on here? The Batrium system's been going well. Uh, I got the shunt up here, so, <coughs> the stuff out of the way. I've just had this cover over the batteries just as a bit of a safety thing so nothing's going to drop on the terminals there. Yeah the Batrium system's all going well so I've got the shunt mounted up here. I've got a bit of tape over it because this um, this wire that comes out of the actual board on the shunt actually pulled off. I had to solder it back on so I've stuck um, I've folded it over and stuck a bit of tape on it for a bit of um, uh, strain relief on the wire so that's something to keep in mind. It'd be good if maybe Batrium put something to secure that wire a bit better there. Um, so yeah I've got this, I'm just running the 100 amp hour cells at the moment, 1600 amp hour in a 12 volt system. What else have I done? I've added this little um, Blue C terminal fuse set up here, which is really nice. I like that idea. They're 58 volt, rated to 58 volts, I think. That's a 60 amp fuse. Just another another little level of protection there. It's got the two terminals, so I can run something else off the other one there. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I've got the state of charge set up properly with the shunt yet. It's saying 39.5 there at the moment, but uh, yeah, I might have to contact Batrium or, or um, yeah, just find out if I've got that all set up right as far as the state of charge goes. But yeah, I'm really happy. I mean, I'm not asking a lot of the batteries at the moment, so I probably don't at this stage need a BMS, but um, when I get the 48 bit volt system set up over here I'll definitely be asking a bit more of the batteries and it will be great to have the the BMS then so the main things I'm thinking at the moment with the with the batteries I'm going to have them all set up here undecided whether I'm going to have two, two 48 volt banks with the 60 amp hours and the 100 amp hours or parallel the 100s and 60s. If I do the two banks I'd probably have to buy more mons 
for these and I don't think the block mons will fit on so I'd have to maybe go to long mons. I'm not really sure if the long mons and block mons can work together. I have to find that out. Um, so initially I'm planning to run this water pump which um, pumps water from our 10,000 litre water tank just on the other side of this wall and also this freezer, this chest freezer and maybe just some 18650 battery charging and charging up my e-bike with that charger there uh, yeah so that's the initial plan with the 48 volt system and that's going to go up on the wall here uh, I'm going to put this a sheet of this cement sheet in here and then maybe a um, marine ply board and yeah I want to do it all neat so it's tidy and the wires going behind that's the plan um, I had a bit of bit of bad luck with um, the PCM 60X the screen with the numbers were all crunching and it seems to only do it when the amps get up around 20 amps but uh, I contacted MPP Solar and they sent me out a LCD module which I was happy with so I'm going to probably put that in today and hopefully that solves that problem but otherwise I've been really happy with this little unit it seems really solid um, yeah also the EPIVA um, 48 volt inverter I bought had the broken bits inside which was a shame so I sent that back and they were really good they looked after me gave me a refund refunded the postage to send it back to them so I'm just tossing up whether to buy that same unit again or get something different I thought about getting a Latronics inverter that's an Australian made inverter they're really supposed to be really good uh, but that's about two grand for a 1800 watt inverter so yeah it's a lot it's a big difference to the five six hundred dollars for the epiva and that's a three thousand watt obviously there's going to be a massive difference in the build quality but for now i might just get another epiva and go with that for a while and uh yeah not sure um just with the Batrium system here, I've got my Watchmon just sitting here at the moment, which is not ideal, I don't think. Um, I bought this enclosure, so I'm going to mount the, that takes a DIN rail in the back there. I'm going to mount the Watchmon into that, and it's going to go up on the wall here somewhere. Um, not sure if I can put the shunt in there as well or the shunt just stays there not 100% sure on that um, the other thing I want to do is get the shunt trip that um, Pete from Homebrew HB Powerwall has the shunt trip um, connected to to the Watchmon I really want to get that but I've just got to find out the model numbers for the the circuit breaker and the shunt trip. Um, Pete, if you watch this video, hook me up, mate. I want to find out what, what your gear is. I love that idea. Um, yeah, basically, just apart from that and being busy with work, I've been processing a heap of laptop batteries and power tool batteries. Uh, got another big pile of laptop batteries down there to get through and yeah that's about it for now guys oh just one more thing i've decided to when i do make my 18650 power wall it's going to be all out of the one cell which is the samsung 30q i've got these so far um and i just picked up another 20 or 40 or so today so yeah, event eventually I'm, I'll probably start off with packs this size and I'll do a 4S system. Um, might run it with a battery switch like one of these fellas um, and sort of have it set up with my three 
three spare 12 volt packs of the um, Kalb cells. So I've got 16 of the um, 16 of the 60 amp power and 16 of the 100 amp power, and I'll be left with these three packs, 180 amp hours of life per four. So yeah, I might um, run those in a 12 volt system over on the bench here where that is now and uh, yeah just have the um, have a little sep separate solar system I've still got the EPIVA tracer um, controller I might set that up with a couple of panels I've got 140 watts of panels there yeah not sure um, at this stage yeah I just want to get this all tidied up set up in the 48 volt system and decide which inverter I'm going to get and go from there and then I'll play around later on and set up a little 12 volt system just for a few smaller loads in the shed here well it's a beautiful day here in sunny Melbourne that's a joke for all the Aussies watching they'll, they'll get that one in the middle of July sunny Melbourne yeah right anyway it is a beautiful day so gotta be glad for that take care guys see you in the next one bye